Hi, I'm Adam from DoodleNoDrama.com and today I'm going to be talking to you about motion tracking and how I can use it to make things stick. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I made that. Well, first things first, I have an After Effects project here. Um, all I've done is I've added a, this is a sequence from Premiere Pro which I've imported, which just has the green screen footage in, and this is a composition with that footage in, and I've just used key light to get rid of the green screen and made a few masks to cut out the edges and I've just added this background just to make it a bit more interesting to look at but this tutorial is about motion tracking so I'm going to show you how to do some motion tracking the first bit that I motion track is when here when I clap my hands and the word motion tracking appears between them now I'm going to just select about there, I think, is where I want to start the motion tracking. I'm going to go up to Layer, create New Null Object, and hit Enter, and rename it Tracker 1, just so I can keep track of it. Now I'm going to select the source footage for the motion tracking, which is obviously the video, and I'm going to click Motion Tracking over here. This is the motion tracking panel with all the motion tracking tools in it. If you can't find it, you just go up to Window, Workspace, Motion Tracking. I'm going to click on that and it opens up the source footage without any effect or anything on it. And you get a little track point on the screen and also all this stuff becomes visible. Now the current track is Tracker 1, that's OK. Now you need to make sure for this type of tracking that Rotation and Scale are also clicked, otherwise it won't work properly. And now we have another tracking point, we have track point 1 and track point two. Now, at the very beginning of this tracking um, scenario, um, the hands will be moving quite fast and there isn't really a point for them to grip onto to track accurately. So we're gonna have to give it a bit of a helping hand. To do that, we're gonna have to use the analyze tools to analyze frame by frame and help move them on a little bit. These are the analyze tools. You can go one frame backwards, one frame forwards or analyze backwards or analyze forwards automatically and we'll get to the uses for these in a moment first we're going to just analyze forward by one frame as you can see it created what it thought was the best way to track it but it can't quite get it so I'm just going to literally click and drag them apart just to help them along for the first few frames As you can see now, it's got a bit of a better latch on the motion tracking, so if I use the Analyze Forward tool, it can analyze more accurately. Until, of course, that happens and it goes off. Now I'm just using the Control and the left arrow key to literally go frame by frame until... There we go, that's when it loses the tracker. And of course, when the hands move down, it can't follow it. So we're just going to give it a helping hand again to track it more accurately. And when it gets to the end, I'm just going to lower it down as far as it'll go, so that when the text tracks to it, it will go off the screen. And when this is done, we need to check the edit target is on tracker 1, which is the null object that we made a moment ago. And we're going to click Apply. Apply X and Y. Click OK. And this will attach the tracking data into the null object. As you can see we've got all these keyframes here and the null object path on the screen. It's good to minimize these. And now we're going to add the text. Let's go up to the text tool. Write in some text. Make it a little bit bigger. surface between my hands and then I'm going to parent the text layer to the tracker and now they should stick together and it should rotate and scale with the proportions from the motion tracking as well now 
I'd suggest, as obviously it begins there and then starts to move around there. That's about... Right, we're going to fade it in using T for the opacity. Click on the stopwatch and go to about there. I'm just going to turn it down to 0%. So if I just render that. And that's the first motion tracked piece of text. Um, join me in part two where I'll show you how to track the other two items slightly differently and how to add an extra little bit of awesome.